Hello and welcome back. Today we'll be learning how to use a Jess in detector and footer. So go ahead and create a new project and we'll just call this gesture detector. SDK path next and finish. Our Flutter project has loaded up so we can go ahead and delete the void plates and delete, delete and we can delete the counter and the increment method. Now we'll go ahead and create our own variable which will be color color equals colors.red so that will be the default color and we can go into our build method and delete all of that. So we're going to start by returning a scaffold and the app bar will be an app bar and the title will be a text widget that says gesture detector and center title will be true. So next we will go on to our body which will be a center widget and its child will be a gesture detector. So what a gesture detector does is it wraps a child so we will use a container and give it a height of 200 and a width of 200 and the color will be color. So once it has got a child to wrap, what it will do is um, you pass in some parameters. So for example, untap. So if this is tapped, then it performs a certain task. So here we'll just set state and color equals to colors dot blue. And so if you wanted to, and there are many more, so we can go on to undouble tap. And this one doesn't take any um, parameters here. So we'll also set states with this term, we'll set color equal to colors.green. So let's run that. So now we can see that our emulator has loaded and if we tap it, it turns blue and if we double tap, it turns green and single tap and it turns blue again. Next we'll move on to dragging. Let's go ahead and type in on horizontal drag start and this takes drag start details. Just put details and we'll set state of color equal to colors dot white and so we'll also need a drag end and these need to be drag end details. And we'll set the state to color start black. So what this essentially does is that whenever the person starts um, dragging across this box here um, horizontally, it'll turn white. And once they finish dragging, it'll turn black. So we see here, if we start dragging, it's white. And if we stop dragging, it turns black. Start, stop, start, stop. So we can move on to another type of dragging which is vertical on vertical drag start um, this again will take drag start details details and set state uh, color equal to colors.orange and on vertical drag end Drags, drag n details, details, and set state of color 
equal to colors that are orange. I mean yellow actually. So we reload now. We'll see if we drive vertically. It turns orange and once you release it will be yellow. And um, so these details that we're getting from the Anka game, we can um, they have a few parameters. So details dot T string primary velocity and velocity. So um, we will be printing the primary velocity. So now I'll show you a bit about the different um, velocities. So if we hot reload, you'll see here if we come to the run tab, if we swipe up. Um, it shows us that our velocity was 151. If we go very slowly, it's 0.0, .0 so that indicates it's very slow. If we swipe up again, you'll see um, a swipe up is a negative value. So we swipe up again. You'll see now that as we swipe it's down quicker, it'll be 1935.95. And swipe up. So it just essentially measures how quickly the person swipes and so the faster the swipe up or down the bigger the minus or positive. So that's pretty much what we'll be covering in this tutorial but as you can see on the gesture detector it has around 50 different parameters so there's a lot to sink your teeth into there. Be sure to check out the documentation to learn more. Thanks for watching and I'll see you around.